The Fantastic Four casting news in the MCU has been on the top of the Marvel interest list for a year plus now. And it seems like the role of Sue Storm is currently being passed around among four actresses. Today, we're going to dive into who they are and what your top pick might be. Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I, of course, am your host, Chris, and the Fantastic Four. How exciting is that? They've made their way over to Marvel Studios from the Fox merger a good amount of time now. 2019 has passed since this happened, and we're starting to get some more legitimate inside ideas of who will be playing the Fantastic Four, Marvel's first family, and probably the anchor team for the immediate future of the MCU. And I refer to that as like the Avengers were the anchor team. I think the Fantastic Four might even supersede the Avengers in overall excitement and actual importance to the story of the MCU for the remaining of the multiverse saga and until we really get into the X-Men and that team there. With that being said, you've probably heard by now that Adam Driver is currently the front runner for Mr. Fantastic, Reed Richards in the MCU. Now we know we're going to be seeing some variants and some different opportunities will be popping up, but as far as our world is concerned, you know, not John Krasinski, not any of the other X-Men from other movies, but our world, the 616 or 19999 universe, depending which movies and shows you've watched, we will be expecting, as of right now, Adam Driver to be playing that role. And we have four names on our current shortlist from several different insiders. This isn't coming from an anonymous source. This isn't coming from one insider. But several different insiders who we go to for a lot of our information are now telling us the shortlist for Sue Storm is up to four actresses. And they're all well known. So we'll be diving into that in just a second. If you haven't already, consider subscribing. You know, turn on that notification bell. Comment down below, all the good stuff. You can also check out my other socials. Instagram is Chris M. Rosser, and Twitter is at the Culture Chris. Links to both of those can be found in the description down below. And for today's video, let me know which of these actresses or anybody that may have not been put on this shortlist you would like to see play Sue Storm. But if I'm being completely honest, we're coming in here with a really strong selection. We're having some really good options. In fact, these are they. Let me know what you think. The shortlist for Sue Storm includes Mila Kunis, Vanessa Kirby, Allison Williams, and Jodie Comer. Now, we've heard every one of these names at least once, and all of them have some form of evidence to back up their inclusion in the Fantastic Four. Mila Kunis, for example, has met with Matt Shackman in public. They were at a table at a diner somewhere. Some pictures came up of it. Matt Shackman is directing the Fantastic Four movie, and I'm sure has a very important say as to who will be playing the character. So them meeting together definitely put off a few alarm bells, but then we didn't really hear anything else about her. Vanessa Kirby has been fan cast several times and has been thrown out by a few insiders as well as a top option for Marvel and somebody they were trying to connect with. And then of course, Jodie Comer. This is probably who we've heard the most about apart from John Krasinski's wife, and, of course, esteemed actress Emily Blunt. And mostly her name was being thrown around because she's already interviewed to have a role with Marvel before. If you didn't know this, she was actually the frontrunner to play Black Widow, but passed on the role. And everybody loved John Krasinski as Mr. Fantastic. Not only did they love it, it was a huge fan casting thing. And although we didn't see him very, very long, and he made a massive mistake by telling the Scarlet Witch how to defeat Black Bolt, people were really excited to potentially see him return. But now that it does honestly seem like that has officially ended, John Krasinski's not returning, Emily Blunt probably won't be playing Sue Storm, especially without John Krasinski, then we've moved on. And I kind of believe those rumors and those answers that we've gotten from both John and from Emily about how, yeah, they've done their thing. Kevin Feige even talked about how they flew John in. It was a one-day thing. He did it for the fans, but he's not going to be our universe's Mr. Fantastic. In fact, it very well may end up being... Adam Driver, as we talked about in yesterday's video. But who here is the ultimate Sue Storm? That is the question, and I'll give you a little bit of my input as well. 
Let's start with one of my favorites, Vanessa Kirby. And when I say that, I don't mean one of my favorites for Sue Storm. I just mean one of my favorites. I love what Vanessa Kirby does, her style of acting. I think she's a beautiful woman. I really, really like her as an actress. Do I think she's my first pick out of these four for the role of Sue Storm? Probably not. And I'll tell you who my first pick is in just a second. However, she's probably a very, very well-known actress after her appearances in Hobbs and Shaw and the many other films she's been in. She also very, very much resembles some of the comic book versions of Sue Storm. This makes her a very clear choice in this front runner options because everybody loves the comic book accurate decisions. Which brings us to the next selection, who might be one of the least comic book accurate in appearance based off of what she normally looks like, and that's Mila Kunis. Who out of this list is probably the most famous from that 70s show, a few of her other one-off movies and comedies she's done, her role in Family Guy, everybody, one way or another, whether you recognize it, has seen something that Mila Kunis has been in. I actually love her general acting attitude, the way she acts in the majority of her movies and shows for the role of Sue Storm. Very independent, capable, smart, witty, and quick. She doesn't have the blonde hair, but I mean, such an easy fix. We've seen her with blonde hair before. That's just not a problem. But overall, very well-known actress. And I think personality-wise, very much fits the bill for what I'd like to see as the personality of Sue Storm. Next is Allison Williams, probably the least famous, but if you've seen Megan or Get Out, you would probably recognize who Allison Williams is. I think she has a very interesting look, but she's definitely been more in the horror genre as an actor, so I don't really know what her range is since the characters that I've seen her play are pretty similar, frightened, and very strong women actresses, which does of course fit the bill for Sue Storm, a strong independent woman. But I don't have enough familiarity with her to know if this is the one that's going to hit it out of the park. I do think she has the stunning looks for it and probably the independent ability to do so. But I honestly think the person who would be the best for the role is Jodie Comer. If they're not going to go with an actress who we're not familiar with or who we don't know, I think Jodie Comer has everything. The look, the attitude, the popularity. I think people would be happy to see her play the role. She's the right age. This would be, for me, the perfect, well-known cast for Sue Storm. If it can't be John Krasinski and Emily Blunt, which it probably isn't going to be, I'd like to see Jodie Comer do this. She's also been in a movie with Adam Driver where she said they had really good chemistry, The Last Duel, which recently came out. So there's that already knowledge of each other, that familiarity. And I like what she's been in with Free Guy. And a few other movies where she's demonstrated her range. I think she has the best look for probably what Marvel's going for with this role. And her personality and acting ability is definitely on par with what the MCU needs for their extremely high standards. With that being said, I'm always a big fan of the no-name actors. And I don't mean that disrespectfully by any means, but the actors that nobody is really familiar with. I'd love to see somebody come in here and absolutely crush the Reed Richards role and the Sue Storm role. And just run away with it. It'd be fun if the thing was somebody super famous, like Jason Siegel, for example. But that's just because you don't really see them. So you would recognize the voice, but the character can become its own under the, the costume and under the, the rocks in this specific scenario. So that would be fun. But I do always love to see somebody come up and emerge. There are so many actors and so few roles. I'd love to see somebody given the opportunity. But with that being said, the insiders are telling us these are the final four women who will go alongside potentially, and seemingly most likely, Adam Driver as Mr. Fantastic. I'm still kind of hoping that one's not true. I'm not married to the idea of Adam Driver playing Reed Richards, but of course, y'all will have to let me know what you think about that in the comments section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching until the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell, and I'll catch all of you guys on the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.